Hey, what is going on guys, Edra here, back with another video. Thank you so much for being here in another Sunday talk. Uh, let's see where the markets are positioned and what to expect now for the upcoming week. Okay, um, I, I was reading and watching uh, some, some upcoming news for this week and there are, there are quite a few interesting, uh, interesting things that could be happening we could actually see some uh i don't want to say a lot but some bullish continuation some bullish momentum uh, perhaps this week depending of course on what the numbers are going to be showing so we have to be uh, aware of that in and, and, and of course checking you know any type of application that you're using for example one of those could be investing.com that's simply to uh, pay attention to the most important news that are coming out. Normally, I have three stars, okay, those news that are very, very important or that that could, that normally affect the markets uh, a lot. So it has to have it has to have three stars. If it has lower than three stars, two stars, one star, you know, that's that's normally not too much. So don't pay attention to those uh, um, type of news. All right, only paying attention to three star news okay so what to expect the market has been ranging like if you can see here starting on nasdaq we can clearly see that is that is actually ranging so in this in this range right here you see that the price had created order blocks at the bottom order blocks at the top another order block at the bottom and so on let's see what's going to happen now once the market reaches this area this top area again you see that that little gap right there by the time the market opened, basically, it's ju just opened nine minutes ago. So we can see that even con uh, it has a, a gap to the upside. The price continue pushing up. All right. Now we have a potential order block here. Now, does this mean that the market will actually drop now at this point? Uh, perhaps. But remember, we are in Asian session, so it's not good to, you know, make entries in this type of time is not definitely not good so i don't think this this order block will play out or will work okay however it's a it's a there is a gap right here that at some point will need to be filled okay the market will have to go down to cover this gap it's not too far so i'm sure maybe during asian session the price will go down a little bit but <clears throat> what to expect i think uh, based on what i've been seeing on the news the market could go up a little bit now one thing here just following price action right we see that the price is hang on it's creating lower lows lower high lower 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 high lower low this right here actually broke this previous high it was a little maybe a little momentum you know during a few days but then price because it's still weak the markets are still weak guys um it drops okay another big crash right there so price goes up again another pullback and then tries to continue to the downside but fails and it goes up again then tries to go down to continue but fails and and creates now right now you see one and two two consecutive higher lows right at this point so this is the first higher low second higher low now will, will it continue pushing up perhaps to this order block and then drop or even getting back all the way to the top and then drop, that's also possible. That's why I'm saying that perhaps in the next couple of days, we could have a little momentum to the upside and maybe to cover some imbalances in this zone. So uh, we have to pay close attention um, to the markets, okay? Based on what, what we're seeing, so. I don't think that the market will react again to this, in, in this area, in this zone it's still possible but i don't know i don't i don't think so let's see how us 30 is is going on this is pretty much one of the setups we had that last week and still as i mentioned it's possible that the market could still go up that supply zone right here at the top is actually looking quite interesting but i still believe that based on the news of course we have to pay attention to the news right now that we could have a bullish momentum right now price could actually go up continue going up a little bit more before maybe dumping again having a massive crash so we will have to see guys we will have to wait 
see definitely we're still bearish this thing is huge 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 look at i mean look at this is the this is the corona virus and now this is the for the inflation that we have it right there so crazy crazy and now we're consolidating you know it price is accumulating so it's building up there is a, a bunch of money below previous lows and above this highs right there also a lot of money right there so liquidity where we're, market is creating liquidity we have at the top and at the bottom so i think we're gonna have as i mentioned some type of bullish momentum to wipe out everybody right here all these early sellers and then the price will actually come crashing down again I don't know why I open a uh, head and shoulder, but I meant to do this. So maybe going up and then continuation to the downside. So let's see anyways what's going to happen. This is a nice uh, supply zone at the top. Okay. But again, news can change everything. Let's go to S&P. S&P basically is doing the same thing. Nice. Uh, this order is still open from 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 this week the price a uh, nice activation here of this order block and beautiful push this will be an one to eight risk to reward if you by the way are interested in what we're doing you know i highly recommend you going on the website teamprofitsfx.com scroll down a little bit you will see that this is the actual bundle that i'm offering and this is the actual price there is a 20 percent discount right now going on all you need to do is fill out this form and i will get back to you with the information on the on to get the bundle i also recommend you guys uh, since the last uh this 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 week actually this past week i was giving away three bundles to what to three students to three followers um on my free telegram group right and let me see where was the i forgot where i put it <clears throat> but I think it was this hang on no I don't remember where I where I did it come on I should have prepared this I'm not sure what I did with the pictures but But hey, anyways, I gave away three three bundles to three of my students on the free uh, group. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, the next giveaway will be on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me and just be, uh, be patient and just keep watching the post because I will be posting the next giveaway, maybe for the next month. I will be posting uh, and, and the process of the giveaway will be on my Instagram. So... Uh, make sure to follow and just be patient there and those and just wait for the, you know if you want to be the lucky winner for the next month so that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to show you here what is going on what to expect with the market i i think we're still going to have a some type of bullish momentum to the upside based on what we're seeing uh, still anything could happen this is a nice order block also at the top but it was already activated once it was mitigated once so it's no longer um it's an it, it's a mitigated zone if it comes back up let's see if it's going to have another type of reaction or will it just continue pushing up as i mentioned and maybe reaching a previous high right here at the moment market has been ranging so building up liquidity so be careful and don't don't be liquidated so all right thanks again guys for watching give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new on the channel right and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.